In today's show, we have a stand-up on the Viking Brew, a story on Air Force Band, and h and K's cues. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Hey Vikes, I'm Haley. And I'm Killian, and you're watching SVTV. We had a visitor two weeks ago. The Air Force Academy van stopped by our school on their way to St. Louis. Let's go check it out. A couple weeks ago, we had some visitors from Air Force Academy band here at Seaman High School. Uh, I'm with the Air Academy Marching Band, and we came to Topeka on our way to St. Louis. Um, we're going to perform in the Dome for a uh, band competition. We're really excited. Currently, we're on our way to the St. Louis uh, BOA Association trip. The band has worked hard and prepared for their competition. Uh, well, it's important that we practice and make sure uh, make sure we're all warmed up and ready to play in March. The band is on their way to compete in the Super Regional Championship in St. Louis. We are actually on our way right now. We left yesterday and we are planned to get in St. Louis tonight or tomorrow. Tomorrow we perform in preliminary and if we make it to finals we should perform the next day and we'll see how we do. In St. Louis, Missouri, so it'll be in the Dome. The band did not place top, but they did place second in Class AA and they got an award for Outstanding General Effects. That was a really great experience watching them play. Now for your daily announcements. Math Lab will be changing the hours starting November 12th. They will be open Monday, Wednesday, and Friday mornings from 7 to 7.45 and Tuesday and Thursday afternoons from 3.10 to 4.15. Interact Club will meet tomorrow morning at 7.30 a.m. in the library. The Viking Brew has a few new features. Allie went to check it out. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Leah to talk about the Viking Brew's new features. So what are they? We have punch cards, so if you get 10 signatures from the accountant, then you can get a free coffee of any size. We've also started our blended drinks. They come in all of the creamer flavors. And with our flavors, where the fall ones are going to be leaving, but we will have winter ones coming in. Awesome. And I heard the Viking Brew does a scholarship. So what is that? Yes. Um, there's a $500 scholarship that's given at the end of the year. So if our profit goes up, then we'll be able to hand out more 500 scholarships to the students. Awesome. Make sure and go to the Viking Brew. Now back to your... I can't wait for the winter flavors. Now over to Sports with Killian after this quick commercial break. I got to think of a project for my entrepreneurship I class. I know. We'll sell products and we'll call it Market Day. Scoops Ahoy is selling ice cream sandwiches and hot choco latte. If ice cream is what you need, CJ's does that. Brownies and ice cream, hometown sweet specialty. Feeling hungry for a nuggie? Check out Broke Boys. Ice cream and cinnamon, an absolute classic. Brought to you by JP12. Market Day is November 5th and 6th during your Cal period. Make sure to bring money. And when we sell these products, we'll make it rain money. For those interested in trying out for the basketball or bowling teams, there will be an informational meeting during activity period on Thursday, November 7th. Good job to the Varsity Scholars Bowl team who took first at the Jefferson West meet. Now over to Haley to see if it'll snow this week. Now for your SVTV weather forecast. Currently it is 46 outside and tonight it will get into a chilly 28. For your three day forecast Wednesday it is in the mid 60s and Thursday and Friday it will drop down into the 40s. If you haven't seen our new segment, we have a new fall edition. Let's go check it out. When was the first day of fall? When the, uh, when the uh, temperature dropped below uh, 70 degrees. This is the 21st of something. September 22nd. What's a basic girl's favorite drink? 
a uh, pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, I was gonna say a pumpkin spice latte, and if they're feeling frisky, maybe a shot of espresso. Pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice latte. Starbucks um, frappuccino. <laughs> a caramel frappe. Pumpkin spice latte. What does cuffing season mean, and why does it happen around this time of year? So cuffing season is when you uh, find a significant other and uh, you form a relationship between two people. It's cold and you need to cuddle. Um, it's like around this time of year, it's like cold and stuff like that. So it's like when people start dating and getting in relationships. Yeah, because it's like cuddle season. And cuffing season's when you get your mans or you get your girl. And what, what was the next part of the question? Why is it like around this time? It's around this time because it's kind of cold. <laughs> and you want your man's hoodie. <laughs> Why do leaves change color? The oxygen decreases as the weather decreases, changing the colors. Um, isn't like the chlorophyll in it dying? <laughs> Spice things up. <laughs> I don't, just a climate change. What do you do during daylight savings time? You're, you're sending that clock forward. Yeah, you're sending, it's you at an hour. Yeah. Nothing. I, maybe sleep. Why does it get cold in the fall? North America is further from the sun because well, the sun oh. dips below the equal. Well, yeah, also the sun's Because moving. of the tilt of the earth. Because we move further away from the sun. What do Visco girls wear in the fall? Long shirt, ripped jeans, Converse. Um, it can be in various colors, so this is just one example. Oh, the Uggs. Uggs, like leggings, sweaters. Yeah, still scrunchies and still hydroflasks. So. Visco girls? <laughs> okay, so... Shoe wise, I'm pretty sure it's just like vans because they don't really wear Uggs anymore. And like leggings and like big sweater. hoodies or like sweater with their hair. <laughs> I don't know how their hair is, but they still wear those star chokers, I think. Do you got one on? Butterfly. Me, I, oh, butterfly. <laughs> I do birds fly south in the fall because it's cold and they're going somewhere warmer. Yeah, because they're going somewhere warm. It's because it's too far to walk. What do you get when you divide the circumference of your jack-o'-lantern by its diameter? Pie. Pumpkin pie. If you want to be in our next segment of h and Q's Thanksgiving edition, make sure you let us know. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll have more information on the blood drive. Have a great rest of your day.